Maris a string? And yeah, I think so. Brendan, who came out from Dalhousie, did uh, give us that presentation about it how he looked at the seismic information and compared it with the acoustics. So I, th I think they are interested in putting that together. Cool. Could come down on Atlanta, Danny, and look south. I did not anticipate the white glass spheres in front of us for this. Oh, Martin's saying Brendan's using the three sensors to do beam forming. I thought they were even monitoring uh, fin whales diving here. With those sensors? Yeah. Do you know about that, chap? There was a couple of papers that came out. Maybe Martin can tell us. Okay, so if you want to go back to the IP, it's to your right. You should come in down here. I'm going to pan the nav screen right But you might not want to Sorry. go back. <laughs> I don't know. I want to go to the... Uh, the toolbox, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I have that roughly in front of Herc. Roughly. So. About 40 meters, yeah. Gonna step another twenty Probably south. I don't want to take any push cores yep. here. You'll Bridge find now. All kinds of silica. I don't, but Steve, Steve wants a couple. Add one more step, two zero meters south. If he's online, you can tell Thank us you. where. But first, we need to put this down, right? Yes, William Wilcock did some fin whale stuff with seismometers, but what? That was a little while ago. Not sure if they have looked at the Maris sensors yet. Go look at the. We're leaving a trail of fairy dust everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it keeps freaking me out. I was like, it looks like it's something like a feature, but. <laughs> we need more arms in front of the camera. <laughs> it's just pixie dust. A method for tracking blue whales with the widely spaced network of ocean bottom seismometers. Yeah, so they actually use our seismometers to track uh, deep diving whales here in the area. Come down five meters. Coming down five meters. Passive acoustic monitor is an important tool for studying marine mammals. Ocean bottom seismometer networks provide data sets of opportunity to, for studying blue whales, Balaenoptera musculus, which vocalize extensively at seismic frequencies. Hmm. Zito. Yeah, that's interesting. Pretty good, Danny. I can't wait to take this footage and put it on my demo reel. <laughs> <laughs> the footage of the whole four hours of operation? Not just this. Just this. <laughs> With the arm and the mud. There it is, right? Yeah, that's it. You want the side with the tailgate open. How do we? They're uh, beaners all rigged to secure this thing in here. Yeah, few few tricks.
You can uh, put Atalanta over the top of us or within 20 meters of us. That'd be great. Roger, will do. Just calculating where it'll be, so I will go. Pick another 20125. Bridge nav. 20 meters, 125. Thank you. Do you have a beaner to secure the glass floats too, or just the instrument? So we have, what we're going to do, if we can get this thing in the tool basket, we have gladiuses on pucks that stick through the grating into the grating of the tool basket, and that's kind of how we secure stuff made of grating like this. All right. And then the floats have um, cinch straps with gladiuses as well, so we can cinch them to the tailgate or anywhere on the, on the, um, Oh, that's tool what, basket was, that was down. what was rigged on top of the... Yeah. Uh, Roger. So those are your tools. The, um, the gladiuses that are rigged are all on the side of the tool basket, but you should be able to reach them from any angle since the hockey pucks are sticking up above the rails. All right. Roger. Mike me up when Atalanta gets here, huh? Yep. thing down and get a pin in it and you can jump in. And Dirk, is the plan just to rattle off as many of these time permittings as possible until we have to head over to the mooring? Yeah, as soon as um, there's an RV crew change, they'll start their tr transit over to the other site. Right. So around 3 o'clock is when we hope to move. Okay. So we'll do as much as we can till three, and then there'll be, I think, an hour or something transit over, maybe an hour and a half, two hours or something. So well, that's that RCM Southeast? Yeah. A blue water transit, or is that that's a, a blue water. recovered a deck? <laughs> no, it's a blue water up in the mid column kind of thing. Right. So as soon as the look 18 at the is done here, we'll hand off to the ROV valets. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing the keys on the way up. <laughs> Give them a wink and a nod. <laughs> that's that's a rough one though. You wake up for this and just to do some blue water right away. That would be brilliant. I would love that. <laughs> it's a great way to wake up. Yeah. So down by this RCM Southeast uh, BPR stuff, IP. Um. Yeah, it's Southeast. Okay. Or RC. Yeah, RC South. Okay. Southeast site. Dirk, John confirms that the sensors are off so we can do the bead bag whenever that's convenient. Okay, sure. Yep. Martin was saying that more than 60,000 earthquakes have been uh, detected with the seismometers hmm. Whoa. so far. It's like hundreds a day, right? Yeah. Uh, we left a bean bag, uh, the one fell off, and it's like right next to the <laughs> instrument. So you should be able to find it. Sorry, Fabio, was at 16,000? Six zero. Six zero, wow. Six zero thousand. I'm going to have some leash. Could you change out Atlanta's heading to the little more eastward? Look at Herc and the tether. That is west. So once we have this mirror secured, we will go over to Grotto for some more bars work. The bars that we recently installed had already failed, so it either fell out or we have to inspect its cables. Cool. Things to do. 
That what you want, Dad, Dan? Yeah, always. I'll keep an eye on that tether. It should be sliding more towards you as as you go. I don't Roger, see you should have enough leash to crash land this thing into that tool basket now. You can just let go from here. Still cam's got a really cool view. Still cam's got too much latency to be useful. I know. He's a fiber. We can do it. We it's can. It's got a point. But needs more than a fiber. Hope for the best. HDMI to uh, so uh, it's a longer it's conversation than I want to have right now. Yeah. I can drop you down if you want. Ten pound of it still moving or not. Yeah, give me five, see what happens. Coming down five. If you're hitting the tether, it's too close. With a bolt sticking through, so I can't really slide it. Um, let go of that instrument with your hold up. Let go of the instrument with your arm and move it out of the way. This here is where all those Fletchers are kind of stuck on the side rail there, or all the Gladiuses. Roger. Losing beads. <laughs> huh? Yeah, it's almost at the end, it looks like. So, is that sandblasting media? Uh, I think it's oil and gas. Pump lubrication or something like this. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I think that's right, Derek, or for drill head lubrication, something like that. Oh, 
question from Tom Kwasnishka on shore for the pilots. Um, whenever there is a time. I recall a conversation we had eight years ago that you were happiest with 30 meter swim tether. What made you go back to 50 meters? Vents. The boss. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry. The boss? Maybe Rennie was the only one here eight years ago. Well, I was here. I was oh, there when there was a 30 meter tether in the vents, and that was fun to navigate around. Uh, Pick it up and uh, yeah. put it on the ground right next to the instrument, or right next to the where all the beads are falling down. Connector. Yeah, the connectors there. Kind of have connectors on both sides to worry about. It's good. You can drop it there. Okay, you'll have to pull that all the way in. I'm gonna get Western with this thing here. Where was I? up and pin the thing in the Is it buoyant without the yeah. sensor? Yeah. Reach out and uh, grab the grate there, Danny. Just the bottom right corner of it, if you can. On the toolbox or on the... Uh, the green grate there. The tool basket or the instrument? The green grate. Stretched. I'll bring it towards you. Let me come up and I'll swing it. there and hold it. Got it? Yep. So annoying. Midwater seismometer. Totally. Perfect coupling to the water. <laughs> yeah. Maybe if we cinch those floats down, it would stop floating them up. I don't know how, where, the, how far up those things are, though. 
I was trying to get my arm on the other side of it so I could pin it, but I'm going to run with this, so <coughs> don't freak out when I pin the cables. But, yeah, there's, I don't know how we would, like, you know, grab the floats without letting go of this. Yeah, so the weight we had for this one was wrong, it sounds like. Because it's definitely the same weight as the other one. I think you're off by a glass float or so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, you're driving my arm. I know. I'm going to drive your arm. <coughs> okay, let go of it. preemptively put one of those those things in there one of those so when it is flat you just stick it down with using that one of those gladiuses it's floating all right how about i reach up and grab one of the ropes on one of the floats and pull it down no we need to pin it before we deal with the floats can't. What we are you going to do with the float? Pull it down? Then what are you going to do? Oh, we've got the gladiuses going through the center. I wonder if we can push that through one more layer. Yeah, so if we pin it, you, you should be able to push them through. But yeah. That's where I'm trying to get to. Could you grab this and torque it down with the seven? This yeah, flat, that's, flat spot. That's probably what we're going to have to do. But let me uh, wait. Let me get in position here. Okay. So turn it sideways where that's facing the vehicle. That way I can get my arm in there and push down on those glasses. Well, I'll pin it with a magnum. I just yeah. got to get it there. I, I was try trying to get the magnum on the other side of it, but it's obviously it's too late. Dirk, after we get the mare se secured here, uh, do you want to do the bead bag before bars or? No, it will be after bars. Yeah. Yeah. It, okay. I think if you swing I mean, it left. Yeah, let me think about that. We might wall. finish. We might just finish yeah, that seismometer then. It, yeah, it might be nice to wrap yeah, it up. Of the, uh, red just in there. case we don't get a chance to come back and do it. At least get one locked in. Something yeah, and we'll be in that. We'll be in the easy, general easy. area anyways. So yeah, maybe yeah. not a bad idea. Yeah, uh, Martin's got grab the other good one. ideas. <laughs> the horizontal okay. one. Yeah, thanks. The one on the bottom. You were in the right place, just the other. Yeah. We could probably take another beat back with us, too. I'm gonna put yeah, your there's a couple around. Down. Okay, when you see the thing moving around yeah, too much, stopping. you're too you're you're hitting it too hard. It should never do that. Okay. So slower. Okay, roll your dog to the left a little and grab. Okay. Grab there. Now I'll gently rotate your wrist clockwise. Looks like it's hitting on the bottom. It is. There you go. It's got some torque on there. Wow. Let's have a little torque. <coughs> I'll rip this thing off of there. Okay, hold what you got there. I got the floats on the top of the basket now. Probably. Can you uh, come down on the arm just a little bit to hold it there? On the yeah, that's good. Okay, hold that. Okay. You got it? Yep.
standby day. if I can't get there from here. Can't get there from here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's frustrated. <laughs> um, see if you can push it down in a way. I'm trying, what I'm trying to do is get the magnum on the other side so then I can pin it in there. So slowly, slowly. See if it'll move away enough to get the magnum on the other side. Too much flotation. Uh, try a little more. Come down on your shoulder a little more. Should have a little more. Oh, so okay, close. Hold that. I can't do anything. All right, Rennie's gone. What trouble can we cause now? Hmm. Oh. A lot of this pain is coming from the fact that our recorded weight for this one was heavier. If they were the same, we would have gotten away with just the one float. Reposition a bit. Yeah, one float would have been. Yeah, that's on me. That's all right. We're having, I don't know if we're having fun. <laughs> it's like this is like trying to stick a peg. <laughs> This reminds me of trying to close our toolbox outside. So many things jumping out as you're closing it. It's like trying to get a handful of balloons into the back seat of a car. Yeah. <laughs> None of which are attached. All with different string lengths. <laughs> hmm. If only there was a third arm. Magnum doesn't have the jam. I have to pin it outside and rethink. I was hoping to get it in one go here, but it's not happening. I think those floats are also kind of getting hung up on the crossbar of the yep, tool basket. They are. And that's what's making it so hard to push it down. I'm going to pull my arm out of there. Yeah, you can. I didn't want to pin it here, but I, I, I don't have any choice here. Uh, Dan, what if I grab a hold of that hockey puck up there and then you push it forward and we'll work together and then we'll just push it in level. Okay, let's see. What we're missing is a beaner up high to beaner the... Can we try and grab one of those cinch straps and just cinch it to the... cinch one of those floats down? Cinch oh. it to what? to the grating on the side of the platform. 
So if he, it's got a gladius in it, so we can break it and just get the float so they don't go as high. On the outside of the We could stick it through one. the outside, yeah. What's that on the top of the float on the right? Pardon? What's that thing on the top of Those the Those are gladiuses with, um, both of them have it. They're cinch straps, so you can stick it through anywhere on grating and suck the floats down mm. so that they're not so high up. But I mean, if the weight is from the floats transferred or the buoyancy is to the tool basket, then it won't be floating around as much. Right. Grab the uh, grab the top of the uh, red parking position there on a crane grab. <laughs> I'm barely holding it down, so I think if we try and manhandle the float and let's work. I just got to get in there a little more and then we can pin the other gladiuses and we're done. Okay, I'm locked. Okay. It's so tempting just to cut these things floats off. <laughs> just got new, two new ones, or four new ones. No, we can't cut them, but <laughs> once we're working, doing this small boat operation, we're trying to release this float because it had the uh, recovery um, recovery cable with it. So uh, the yeah. platforms are on the bottom and you float the recovery cable to the surface. We couldn't get it done, couldn't get it done. So eventually we sent the ROV down and it cut the, um, the line holding it down to the platform. We're like, oh, it's all dust everywhere. We couldn't see anything. And then a few yeah. s few seconds later, you just hear, tong, float hit, hit the, the bottom, bottom of the, the ship. <laughs> and oh. then come around. Wow. Yeah, we got a multi-beam to worry about. <laughs> Navigation hazard. <laughs> yeah. It was with Josh Chernoff, actually. Nice. And Andy Clark. I don't know if you guys have worked with Andy. Come on. Stay in there. Oh, the wrestle match. So you know what, I'll push down. Uh, I actually want you to lift up a little. Nice and easy. Oh. Lift up a little more. Oh, the floats this time aren't caught. Nice. Okay, stop moving. Okay. You got a Gladius in there, that one? Stand by. Yeah, yeah. Might be all close the damn door. I think I can push that puck in. Okay, just wait. Just wait. Oh, I see what you're doing. Get an extra th third arm. I don't think you can reach the puck from there. Um, if you get off it now. You can also break it. these for you, eh? Yeah. If we can free up an arm without going crazy here. Okay, lift your arm out of there. EC, EC. Yeah, that's good. Hold what you got there. Hold what you got. Grab one of those glasses and just shove it in, but we can't shut the door, can we? Uh, we could at one point. I slid back a little, it looks like. I can see if I can nudge um, it in a little more. Move your arm back a little. I'll tell you what. Grab on right between the two bodies, is there? Where? Uh, on the basket? No, move out first. I changed my mind. I'm going to try and slide it in. Okay. Could go pear shaped. And it's got the bolt sticking through. I reckon. I think we could shut the door. 
Yes. I think so. Yeah. The hinge is on the outside of that rail. Yeah. Uh, but it comes, the door comes uh, up onto that yeah, metal. Yeah, look at the other one. I'll, let me, I'll, I'll pull up a picture of it. Let's give me one second. So close, yeah, so far. No, when the door is closed, you can't see any of the aluminum. It's grating, the grating's touching the grating. Wow. Uh, oh, look at no, the other no, one. No, 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 hang on. See the other one back there. And look, I'll bring over a closed door for you here. So we're a square away. Okay, and grab on to the, uh, grab on right in front of the porch to the rail there. Crane grab. Frozen there. Yep. Good thing. They do have a little bit of play slop, so that should be fine. Right. <laughs> Stick a pin. Oh yeah, well, I gotta make sure I'm on it still. Okay. Um, let me come down on here again. Okay, gently let go. Grab that gladius right there and stab that thing. Yeah, that one won't work. You might be right over the Teflon and subframe okay. there. That should be okay. Do you get it? Uh, try another one. I don't know if that one's in. That did not go in. No, 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 no. Serving as a pivot point, at least. This one that's in there. Come on.
keep sliding back. Okay, try again. Might be easier to pin it like two squares in from that bolt. This is a nice long one. Yeah, if you can pin it, then we can bend it over. But you want to pin it up by the float side where you were going before. If you pin it here, it's just going to bend up and out. Got there. Course. I can try to push one of the other ones in farther. Yeah, I'm going to get you a little closer. Careful, there's an overhead door. Yeah. Okay, you should be able to... I can get that. I'm going to swing around so you can see. Yeah, there's a knife is <laughs> just in the wrong spot. Okay. I Got it. Seems a little more stable. Maybe. Oh, please fail. Let's see what happens when I float up. I think, I think you might. Have, uh, no. No. Okay. Um. I can stick another one in. Yeah, on take that one side. of these long ones, yeah. Are they color coordinated by length? Uh no, but the orange one would be the way to the one to go. The other one is a um the other one is a pull pin or a um cinch trap. The purple one. Okay. So I'm not sure if this is a long one or not, but There's also four on the other side too, I believe, so. Ah, shorty. What are you thinking, Dan? Close to the floats. I'm gonna put it right Stab on the, the edge blue cable. Right here. Somewhere in the way now, I guess. Can your um, gate still close with, the, with this angle? Just yeah, we'll be able to. Yeah, move it. Yeah. I think uh, you might be above the Teflon left, there. Left, left. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right there. See if you can, once it's through, if you can give it a bend too or something. I don't know if that's possible. Well, we can bend it. Uh, you might not be in a hole. Oh, there you go. Okay. 
Oh. Are we? Yeah. Hmm. We're running out of options. Hey, Dan. Yo. Can I offer an idea? Sure. Keep in mind, this is coming from the video guy. <laughs> what if you took the craft, just like a car trying to get a balloon in, push down on that float and put it on the other side of the mid support, so at least it's pulling the platform in and not towards you? Might be crazy enough to work. Might be. Want me to do that? What's the end goal with these um, the gladiuses on the floats? So you take one and you stick it into the side, anywhere on the side, and then it's a cinch strap that you pull and it cinches the float down. Mm. Yeah, I think it's time to go for that. I don't know if we can get it way here. I can, uh, hold on, I'll get you closer. Oh, I'm plenty close. Are you? Oh, remember, you got jewelry up there. Yep. There's the, it's kind of a pink, purple-y. Can we get it in bubble? No. So manipulator about to hit Martin bubble. Martin sent you kudos for the deployment. That's, that's the problem, they're moving targets. I'm all the way up on my shoulder. Yeah, I don't. Oh good, I got it. Oh, you want the gladius? No, 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 not that, not that, not that. That cinches the rope. You want the hockey So you part. want the gladius first, yeah. Okay, Danny, let me do it. Let me do it. Oh. Stop. I'll stop. Kay. I'll stop. <coughs> right, we only get one shot at this one, mate. I'm not convinced it can get there from here. Too. Pretty short. Sure. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this keeps getting better. You think you can pull one of those down or not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. I think they're short, so they're not crazy long, but this is, um, nope. Yeah, I'll own this one. I made them short like that. Forgot that. Just worried about there being too much stringers around. Yeah. You got it in bubble? Short is uh, too short or too long, either way. Yeah, I, uh, I was hoping the RV could do it. We can do it. This depends on your patience level. Oh, it's high. And mine. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't know about yours. Mine's <laughs> high. No, mine's typically. 
<laughs> 90 days in low. <laughs> Is that how long you've been at sea now? Yes. Yeah, oh, man. Nice. What's wrong with this picture? You gotta go down a little lower. What's wrong with that picture is I can't see what the hell I'm doing. It's supposed to go in there, is it? It's supposed to. I mean, sometimes there's a frame something. or something on the back, yeah. so you might have to try a few holes, but it's unlucky if you didn't, if there's something behind there. I can, um, I've got some pictures from the outside of this thing, so I can give you a better idea. Where's the best place to try? Give me a second. Pick it up for you. Let me just put it in the bottom of the basket. So, basically where you try it is like, you want to go middle of the, if you go in the middle of that section, you should be good unless you accidentally hit one of one washers, so. One of one, I like those odds. Yeah, so I would say there, there should be good. I know it's where you went, but that should be fairly clear. Could we get it in on the bottom? And then it would serve as a bumper to keep it from sliding out on that right side. Reese fail. My, yeah, they might work as well. You don't want to go too far forward because there's a gusset there, but. All right, I can go back. Yeah, that's a good spot there. Yeah, should be. <laughs> Let it go all the way. I don't, I don't know. know. Zoom in for a second. Coming in. To pass the oil on the lens. You definitely got it through us. Whether the thing grabbed, I don't know, but definitely it's through the. Yeah, yeah it's through the blue on it. the other side. Yeah. Coming out. All right. Yeah, it could go wide, thanks. Wide, wide. Now let's hope these uh, cinch traps aren't reversed. Why, why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> trying to. One night's been going. I don't. I think actually it's been going pretty good. Uh, um, it's been a fairly challenging dive so far with a lot of, a lot of little variables. I think it's. Should come down. Come on. Not loving the 50 pounds, I guess. Not happening. I'm going to break it off. At least not from that angle. Did it, t it looks like it did take some of the... Maybe not, but... Weird. That's lower. It definitely took the load off of the uh, basket. Because the bridle was loose. In the tea
Let's tell you something. But I really want to let go of this thing. I think there's cinch traps at least holding some of the buoyancy at this point. Yeah, it sh should be free to rotate in. It's only really been pinched on this one side. Uh, I'm there, right? Not quite ready to let go of it yet, but close. I think that bracket really saved us with that rope catching on that nut. I don't think you've been able to press on those cables at all below the hand. I don't think so. Are you holding it down right now, or is it kind of sitting there? It seems to be sitting there. But I've still got a hold of it, afraid to let go of it. So. Duck. <laughs>
that floats caught. Oh, yes. Oh, there's a gladius for you. Oh, no. It's holding it. It fell through. Sword of Damocles there. Oh, you're trapped now. <laughs> yeah, airbound. There it is. It's through. Get in there. It's this float that's kicking it out. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to have to. Oh, you got it. Oh, did the float no. move? I'm going to have to let go of it. Hope, hope for the best. We'll come around the other side and deal with it. Yeah. So I don't know what's going to happen when I let go, but I'm tired of holding it. <laughs> <laughs> Sick of it. I'm over it. I can't believe those cables. They look like they got away with it. Oh. Yeah, there we go. It's good. That was painful. How's it feel being free? Wonderful. Probably, probably took 100 pictures <laughs> on this already. I only, so far I've only <laughs> from, got... From this view, maybe. I've only got 27 pictures so far of... Um, the mayhem. Of this, <laughs> yeah, of this, yeah. this dive. As soon as we the get this done, they want us it. to put the train wheel in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> with one of these gladiuses through the middle. Underneath the Maris. You can cinch it, cinch strap it for another security. I think there's a train wheel he'd like to put on it. <laughs> that didn't go to plan at all. What's that? Putting this in there, I would fly it in there pretty easy. Please tilt it over and pin it. That's what I get for thinking ahead. We can. Can we? Um, would it would it be possible to get this other float down as well? Yeah, I think that's the next uh, order of business. And then we can just also use the weight Jake, of this sensor. Uh, Danny, I'm gonna trade. I'm gonna let Jake jump in there. You can jump in on the manip. We do a quick blast of air over here. We're out of our cycle a little. Or you want to jump in here? Sorry, I can't two-hand it there. Yeah, I can. Swing and a miss. Watch out for the major. I obviously need a break, too. I'm going to make it more challenging. <laughs> Maybe you need to jump in here. Got it. All right. Jaw locked. Your mission is the purple hockey puck stuffed into something.
reckon I'd twist to the left, I'll pop it. Oh, all right, hold that, and I'll come around and come down. Roger. I think I'm uh, through think the, the loop um, there. The loop is on the thing. Of course yep. it is. Oh, no, on a toggle bolt, too. I don't think we care about the loop at this point. This one may work. This is nice. <laughs> looks like a fresher, um, a fresher zip a cinch strap. So that was the most satisfying thing I've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold, hold this on. one's nice and long too. Come on. <laughs> Let me start with this. So I'm gonna have to spin it around. Uh, are you going from out to in or in to out? I don't know. You can do either from our perspective, anyways. I can, I can swing around. It'd be hard to do. I like the out to in. In to out from this angle without just blindly guessing. It's like suboptimal. Mm, yeah. I don't, we can go outside to in, right? Is there yeah, any reason definitely. Not to? There's right. no reason you can't do that. Yeah. Right. Might even be better for pulling that cinch strap. <laughs> right. <laughs> really selling the cinch strap. Okay. Oh, I've got such I'll high hopes for this one because <laughs> it's so long, right? Look how long it is. Yeah. It's useless. I'm really hoping it works. Yeah, so the other one, I actually pulled the buoy down, so I took a wrap around the jaw so it wouldn't pull the puck out. And, uh, yeah, I had the cinch strap wrapped around <coughs> the outside of the jaw. Okay. But it might, you might just be able to hold it. They yeah, it it's still going to grotto, right? Yeah, actually... Before we go to Grotto, we're going to secure this. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to um, take a beat uh, back back to that seismometer and finish that nope. project, that okay. objective, once and for all. Okay. We were wondering about the lights, but we leave them on for now then. Yeah, just leave them on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We do. Thanks. Thank you. Do you have pre rust these straps? <laughs> There's no good answer for that. And that's come a that way. really good question. You guys get these from there? Cam. Uh, yeah, cool. just, they're rusty, tie. so you got to kind of play with it to get it in, I think. It's hard to see the angle of that dangle. Yeah, all the ones on the sides are brand new. Some of these are old. Probably should have been retired. That's in there. You're in. I don't know if you're all the way. I don't think you're in it. Bend it. Hold on. Let me swing right. That's in. That I argue that's in. All right. Let's hope for the best. Do we 
care about the cinch strap. <laughs> Dirt cares. Dirt <laughs> All right, try the cinch strap. Oh, but, nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. This pull, like, uh, you know, right along the other. Uh, pull straight up along that green one. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that rusty cinch strap's going to need everything it can get. The ascension floats too heavy. Oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Yeah, that's good. I tried with the other one saying we'd have to pull it down and have the wow. cinch strap loose. Yeah. Like you're trying to pull 50 pounds through the cinch strap. Yeah. yeah. I don't, don't want to break it. Yep. Let go. Let it go. happy with the folks where they are. <laughs> uh, you'll have to unlock the jaw from that side. That, that, that train wheel is kind of falling apart. It's interesting. Uh, wait a minute, wait oh. a minute. Oh. Go ahead and hit the jaw lock again. Sorry, changed my mind. See if you can grab the red parking position and wrangle that thing in a little bit more. The red part, oh, okay. At the top of the red yep. parking position. Or you can grab the one of the ropes. You can grab that rope right there that you're touching if you want. Uh, this one here? Uh, either one. Uh, I'll try to, I'll try to. Trying to get your knife back. I got more. <laughs> it's Italian seismometer. Back rope, Jake. Back rope? Yeah, you'll have more. Or it's like a spumante. Grab it lower down towards the grate. Yeah, somewhere there. Oh, it does look like an Italian flag, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I see. That was a slow burn, that one. Yeah. I didn't get Jeb it. got it. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> so lift up first, uh, Jake. I fooled you with my smile. I was still you, working on it. You were it. still working through it, yeah. <laughs> oh, that should be so close. Yeah, with all the goodies going up in this tool basket, we really want those gates closed. Perfect. If it, if it will stay, that's perfect. Put it down there. Not staying. Ah. I think. Grab, I think we uh, I'm gonna push it in and wow, well, the freaking instrument's in the way. Grab the instrument, and put it up on there. 
I think the gate will close right now while it's still loose. I think so, yeah. And yeah, then, I think it's just the angle of those gladiators is making it bounce back. But where, where do I grab this? Enough. Anywhere on the PVC? Right, yeah, right that's on, fine. Right on the green. Oh, grab, yeah. Well, it's a good thing that's stuck in there. <laughs> oh, that's... If that's all you have to deal with, that's pretty... Yeah. Forgiving. To your left side. Yeah, well, just watch the connector on the far oh, yeah. side, yeah. Swing around and see if we can. Can you tap it in? Close the freaking gate. All right. Okay. Yeah, dealer's choice there. Yeah, mark it. Yeah. If you grab the monkey piss, grab it real close to the uh, gray ring. Yeah. So, uh, I think we want to grab this. Uh, where is it? Yeah. Throw it back in. Might as well. Or not. Oh, uh, fuck it. All right. I don't know where the knife is. Over it. Yeah, it's pinched between the door and the grating. Other, other than I might need it later. But we have two more. Yeah. I should come back. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you let the deck, deckies know. <laughs> They'll figure it out. It's booby trapped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't grab that thing. Yeah, that's pinned there. Um, so we do have a spare knife in the toolbox as well as one we on the porch. We have one in each toolbox. Roger. <coughs> Three knives. Okay, you can let go. They probably want to put more pins in it, but I've lost interest. We're headed back to um, Grotto, right? Oh, I think we're headed back to put the bean bag on the. Yeah, they were talking about maybe grabbing another bean bag on the way over. There's a one at your feet there. Yeah. All right. 
Empty I mean, bean bag. Uh, to your right, right there. Do you want me to check in with them about grabbing another? Well, there's a shirt. I think they're doing a handoff back there. Yeah, they're doing a handoff. Is that bean bag leaking? Um, there's one behind you too. <laughs> Grab that one up, Jake. Put it on the porch. That one's leaking, I think. Yeah. Right there by the corner, showing. You can start moving north, Rennie. Roger, I'll do the reciprocal of what I did to get here. Bridge, Naf. Oh, sorry. Step two zero meters, bearing three zero five. Thank you. And then I'll do uh, 60 meters north after that. That ought to get us there. Roger. Put that raggedy thing on it. Um, is it going to stay there? You can grab it by the ring and stick it out, you know, tuck the arm up in. Top for that rock. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys hunting down that uh, other bead bag we dropped? Is that uh, we're going to go, I know where it is, but we're going to go drop this one on your cable. That's appreciated. I'll put the other one right on top of the sensor, too. Roger. Thanks. And if we end up uh, bumping it a little bit, we'll just take another heading on it, though I can't imagine it'll move too much. Hopefully not. Yeah, it did such a nice job getting it in place. How's everyone doing? Good. Most excellent. Great. Good, good, good. All right, where are we off to right now? You guys are We're going to go put a bean bag on a cable. Okay, did you grab a second bean bag for the instrument? There's a, We have one, and there's another one up there. Quick okay. watch, change the video. All right, great. Uh, do we want to flip Atalanta's heading to north or no. something nope. like it? No, let's move the boat north. Okay, it, it's on the way. It's on the way. We're well above all the structures of Atalanta. Yeah, it's just the tether, not not Atalanta itself. Well, wow. we're not going to be here that long, and it's 20 meter, 40 meters up in the air. Roger. I'm like there. I just need that much. How about yep. this much? I'm, wor I'm working on it. I can't, <laughs> I can't go faster. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch their butt cam there with that, that structure. I won't be able to turn my Bridge heading snap. Now. Step six zero meters north. You don't need six zero, Rennie. We're there. C1. Standby bridge, just two zero meters north. Thank you. So you want. A standby, right? Most land.
Okay, put the bean bag wherever he wants it. I'm a little worried about the tether in the north tower, right. rubbing up. Put it out there, Dick. Yeah, so if we could just put this uh, on the blue cable that's exposed between the instrument and the green grating. Okay, here or other further? Side. On the other side of the grating. Like, I'll try to right get it there. pinned on the rock. I know it's tough because you don't want to knock the instrument over, but just go slow with it. And we'll see how the instrument left reacts. A little, left a little. All right, there. That's great. Really happy with that. Um, is there another bead bag here? Oh, wonderful. I'm you trying to come up on, on the delta too? here. You're all right. You're all right. Grab that bead bag and right stick it on there. Then we'll be out of here by the time he freaking moves it. Oh. Nope. So again, if if we could gently put this just right in the center of the instrument. On the instrument itself? On the instrument itself. Okay, hold what you got there, Jake. Holding. Ball there. Is there a way for you to sit or pin your vehicle? Okay. Stick it on there. We can reach over there. Which part of the instrument? So the center part between. Rudder. It's not critical that that's where it ends up. That's just, I think, where it'll be the most stable. And try not to, I guess, push the instrument with the bag yep. off the cliff. So if you can make sure you're as far as you could be before dropping it. Before smashing. About as far as I can reach from right here. I can. Uh, we'll, we'll try okay. that. Come up. Come up. Take. Get a little closer. What's that can of beans doing down there? Perfect. Left from the old prospectors. Baked beans. Okay. Yeah, it could be. Flop it to this side if you can. Which side? This side. The other side, it'll fall off. I think it's, I think yeah, it's okay, good like that. It. Yeah. And let go. It's just full of life, that bead bag. Okay. Move on. Okay. Over. Yeah, that's great. Excellent. Okay. Did we take a heading and orientation of this yeah, instrument? Yeah. Yeah. We we're, out of, we're out of here, mate. We're stretched over a vent. With the yeah, we already we got the coordinates and all. Our, um, Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Back okay. to the tool basket then. Roger. <coughs> yeah. Okay. 
move back to the south. Roger. Tool basket or Tool basket. grotto? Not grotto. Okay, no, got it. Let's go get a gas tank. Got it. We have a gas tank. Let's go get another. Bridge nav. Good morning. 20 meters south, please. Thank you. Crossroads. Coming down, five meters. All right. Okay. Waiting for the boat. I need a break. <laughs> no autos. <laughs> you want me to jump in there? You want me to jump in there? Dan always turns us so low. So Dan's got two headphones. Ah, uh, yeah. He's got special headphones. Well, maybe I'll try it this way. Never had good luck previously, but maybe. Once that ship move is complete, um, we can park right in front of those gas tights. Roger. Is it still moving? Okay, we might need another 10. Okay, we'll wait for it to finish, finish swinging. Yeah, we might need another 10 meters or something. But.
perfect. in the chat. Ask them what the name stands for and you'll hear back in two months. Yeah. And if our friends in the UK are listening, thank you for all your support helping me get that instrument ready. <laughs> I know you were busy. So were we. <laughs> I just want to confirm you've got one gas tape in your toolbox. Is mm -hmm. there anything else in there? Uh, no, just the gas tape. Okay. So we'll take one more with us and then be on our way to Grotto. Okay. <coughs> got gas tape. We've got remos. Yeah, you've got some sort of pickaxe tool. I think so. Excavation. A gentle excavator. We have a big chunk of three wheat bars tied together. Yeah, I think that's the one. Yep. Tri bar. Actually, I think that's not wheat bar, that's uh, all thread. Ready rod. It's ready to excavate. So close. Those floats are going to be smashing that seismometer on its way out of the water. I guess it needs to be fixed anyway. So. <laughs> we can request, we can let Mike know that we'd prefer it to not sit in the interface like he had it on the way down. And get sloshed around? Well, it's just yeah. in the interface, they'll lift up and then smash back down every time it comes out of the water. Mm. Yeah, minimizing that sounds good. Mm. Would it would it be better to like put something on top oh. of it so it didn't get smashed? No. Uh, I'm not sure we we have anything that will be able to do much to protect it. Maybe oh no, it's already gladius in. Uh, if it wasn't, we could slide it to the other side, but I guess the floats will probably just chase it around. Mm. You must have missed the fun we had putting it in there. <laughs> I heard. I heard those platforms were a little light for those floats. <laughs> Still getting tugged a bit, so I'm just going to wait a second. Do you need more, Jake? Or is this good? Um, this might be good. I'm thinking I just... We're grabbing the gas tight in here. Yeah, not the one on its side, but one of the ones oh, that are one standing, of the ones up. standing up. So these, we're going to go up to the grotto and do the bars thing, right? Yep. And we're also going to do a couple gas tights up there, is it? Here. Yep, if we can.
coming up. Okay. Got enough for you want more. That's good. <clears throat> Any one of these Any gas tights? Any one. Dealer's Any choice. One. Roger, I'll put it down right on here. Right back. Well, uh, they're going to have to rack back. And, uh, uh, box out, too, when you get a chance. Actually, I changed my mind, not dealer's choice. Can you do any one but the one you're currently going for? <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's the slow one. How'd you know it's slow? Uh, <laughs> we have a strict curriculum. Okay. This one is white and blue. This will be gas tape 22. Okay, Jake, you can take off and start heading north. All right. now. Can we make a 30 meter move north? All right. And do you know your way there? Yeah, I think so. All right. around this rock. You can go on, for starters. on either side of the rock. It's fine. <laughs> Cables. Yep. Roger. <coughs> Dan knows his way, but the man driving does not. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get there. I like that she came through the the rocky way <laughs> <laughs> for added challenge. Oh yeah, it's fun stuff. Yeah, just careful with the tether. Oh yeah. Okay, Rennie. <laughs> well, Rennie told me that I needed to be careful with the tether. <laughs> we need to be careful with everything. Careful with the instruments, careful with the tether. Yeah, but the tether is the most important no part. No one says careful with the ROB. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You beat the <laughs> shit out of it on the rocks. Yeah, you can fix that. But if you, if you have problems with the tether... You can fix <laughs> that, too. Uh, only if it doesn't, you know... Sorry, man. I'm giving you shit. I was also giving her any shit. He's not even here to defend himself. No, he's probably listening. Wait, I thought we were going to bars. We aren't. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so, I, did I need to move? Yeah, we'll probably Look need to the ship move. I, I moved us north. Yeah, north is fine. Okay. Now move uh, northeast or east, whatever. 
They only move 20 meters north. That's fine. Back into this. So I turn around. Look for the light. Is that this? Yeah, we need to be over there, I think. We don't want to go like this. <laughs> no, no. So, you're looking at this. Yep. We need to be here. We need to be there. Turn right. your left. Keep, keep following the cables on your right. <coughs> so I'd, yeah, I'd probably go around this way. Can I get there going that way? No, stay to your right. Oh, okay. to the right? Follow the cables. Right now, operationally, if I go right, Atalanta will be on the other side of this yeah, um, this pillar here. Thing. So, so we, I need to move her back and go around. You can either go up and over or... Oh, you move way far north. Yeah. So if I go around to the right, we're going to pull our... We're going to get our tether caught over these pillars. <coughs> okay. Well, you could go to the left, but it's dicier. <clears throat> Can you? We're going to be doing a lot of work at. Yeah, I'll we'll move the ship. At the Grotto, yeah, move the it's ship. a lot easier if no, you're able to on. back go out go to the east because it's a much safer way to work. So, would it be best to to move on angle back? You can go around to the left, Jake. Okay. So. Have a look at the vent while you're going up. Enjoy the ride. <coughs> this way is known as Rogers Pass. Rogers Pass. Rogers Pass, yeah. Fly the ROV right through there. That's <laughs> well through there, underneath <laughs> that thing. <laughs> Believe it. Uh, You're gonna see Rogers Pass once in your lifetime. Roger that. Flying through Rogers Pass. <laughs> I'm we'll following those cables. Gonna be on your right. We can look at the vent to your right as you go through it. Sorry, I came up too high. Yep. <coughs> Pull me up. Yeah, I got directions to this light. You see the light through the hydrothermal vent? Yeah. You can move on, I don't know, 30 meters east, Megan. All right. Bridge now. Hi, can we get a ship move 30 meters east? Thanks. Come up and look at the top of it for a minute, Jake. Roger. Coming up. On the right. <coughs> this way is pretty. It is. It was quicker to get here moving the ship, otherwise I have to move the ship back, then over. Now we just do one ship, one more ship move. <coughs> Fly right up to it. <coughs> Did 
to stay just below the black and <coughs> fly up till you start catching on fire. It's a good angle to approach because you have the current in your face. I'll yeah, come down good. a bit. Still getting. I'll come down, coming down. <laughs> out of there yeah well first we're going to adjust the the new one now that hopefully the wand is a little more cemented in place oh, yeah. so i'll tell us straight but yeah what we're looking for is in there okay you follow those cables actually uh this is it right here that's what we're looking to go get to oh that was a cool feature yeah <clears throat> Pro, Wait, huh? Pro Telestrator. Yeah. Love it. Waiting on the east move. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Not so nice in the, in the still cam. Trying to take a turn out here. I don't know what, I, what am I doing? No, that's why I'm getting. <laughs> Trying to take your turn out. Yanked around. <clears throat> If you're trying to take the tether wrap out from Atalanta, it's opposite from what you normally do with yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. Because you're going to come around to your... Which way are you going to put a 6-8 wrap in? But. No, so I give you half in the bank if I can get it around. <coughs> Tiller's going in the smoke. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, and Lent's going in the smoke. <laughs> Wish we had a temp sensor on Atalanta. It's, it's pro probably pretty cold there still. <laughs> <laughs> right through the plume, watch Atalanta spontaneously combust. <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrible. <coughs> terrible. AJ's right. It ain't no thing up here. We fly the ROV in here and take Niskins all the time. So we're well, well above it. <coughs> Might smell a little funky. Might smell a little funky, but... Well, the, if you go goal. around sniffing ROVs, then <laughs> yeah. that's on you. So the goal is not yeah. to hit the structure with Atalanta, but... <coughs> So what we're looking to do is we'd like to sit down or pin or something, get stable so that we can investigate this white, this white wand cable okay. and the placement of this, what we call the pig, the bar's body. So <coughs> some things to consider here are uh, which way the wind's blowing. <coughs> and, uh, it doesn't look as bad as it was the other night, but it's typically blowing from this heading uh, left to right. Yeah, you can see the plume. Yeah, Moving which is pretty obvious from the plume. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, if you get a little closer there, come down, I can't see exactly where they put the wand. So the, the wand is right here. Right. But we don't want to touch the wand. I guess it's good to get a look at it. You can um, rack your, uh, run your camera out. It's racked out. Uh, really? Oh, it's the black thing in your face. Oh, no, I well, the box isn't close. I thought I That's closed the box all the way. No. <coughs> Sorry. 